This is an overview of the image accordion by Unlimited Elements. I'm going to teach you how to add an image accordion to your website that can connect to a background slider and change the background colors or images according to the active accordion item. I'm also going to teach you how to connect this to a remote counter, to remote arrows to navigate your image accordion, and to a content carousel that can show corresponding text and title depending on the active item. Without no more further ado, let's jump in and get started. To get started with the image accordion, I'm going to search for the image accordion in the widgets pane. If you don't have the image accordion in the widgets pane, it means you need to install and activate unlimited elements and install that widget. To access that widget, you can search in the comments and there's going to be a link directly to that demo widget page. The image accordion is an awesome vertical accordion that shows your images with kind of a hover effect. And whenever you hover over each item, it expands that item and it can show an icon, which is not showing now a title, some text and a call to action button. I'm going to show you and go over all the settings to make an awesome layout today and explain what each one of these settings does. So the first setting over here, is for the event. So right now it's on hover. We can change that to click. And right now when I'm going to hover, it's only going to show a small little overlay, which is an indication that this is clickable. And then the user can click. Okay, so that's what that does. Direction, as you can see right now, the direction is horizontal. You can change that to vertical. And this widget knows how to work in a vertical type of layout. Of course, you would want to change how that looks, but that's what this setting does. And the next setting is for the opened item. Right now you can see all the items are closed and I can change this to whatever item I want. If I want number two to be open by default, I can choose that as well. So I'm going to choose number one to be open by default. And this is the same setting just for mobile purposes. Button text, that's the text over here in the button. Transition duration, so right now it takes one seconds for the uh, transition to occur. And we have some gap. So let's add some gap over here between the items. That already looks a little bit better. And size for the opened item. As you can see, now it's taking um, about two times of the closed item. So if you would want to make that bigger, you could do that as well. So that's what that setting does. And we have all the layout options. So you can turn on or off each part of the uh, items over here. For example, I'm going to turn on the icon so you can see some icons in the items. And the next part is for editing the items. So let's edit the items. I'm going to leave only three items. And let's start uploading our images. So upload files, select files, have some images I uploaded over here earlier or selected earlier. And I'm going to upload these three. So the first one is going to be pineapple. I'm going to change the title over here accordingly. So that's the pineapple one. And I'm going to try to do this as quick as possible for you guys. This one is the lemonade one. And last one is going to be for the macaroons. So awesome. I think we got that set up. Macaroon. Awesome. So these are the items. Over here, by the way, uh, there are some more settings. For example, you could, uh, instead of the text over here, you could insert a Elementor template, if you have Elementor Pro. And it, we have the link for the button, so each item can be linked to a different, uh, different link. And the background position, this is really important. So if you want to like 
see more of the left uh, top part of the image, then you can uh, change that. So center top, whatever you need. I usually choose the images the way that they will work best as center center. So that's for that part. And we got this set up. What I'm going to do now is actually try to start connecting this with a different carousel, a background slider and some remote widgets to make it look uh, a little bit more unique, make the layout more interactive and more advanced. So first of all, I'm going into the section and what I'll do is I'll make the height fit to screen. So that's the full height, whatever the user is seeing, the, the full viewport height. I'm going to add a new column over here and let's widen this column a little bit. Let's click on the image accordion and go into style. Over here in style, we can make the items a little bit higher if we want to. Right now it's by viewport height, so it's taking 55% of the viewport height. Let's make that 70. And as you can see, there are a lot of settings over here, item shadow, item skew. For example, if I want to add a skew, this will sort of make them in a slanted kind of awesome effect, which is really cool, but that's not what I'm looking for right now. I'm going to add some radius to make my items rounded. This is looking even better right now. And the next part, let's say for the icon, let's make our icons a little bit bigger, which looks awesome. And the button, let's make that rounded as well. So we should have over here button radius. So that just kind of goes with the de designs of the items. Okay, so we got that set up. And previously I have also installed a background widget for the section. So I'm gonna go into style limited backgrounds. If you don't have any backgrounds installed, you can click over here. And the one that works best with items is the uh, slider one. So I'm gonna search over here for background slider. And as you can see, what that does just makes a solid color, but that color is going to transition depending on the items over here. And what I want to do is make a corresponding color for each one of these items. So the background, will change depending on the item over here. So the first one is going to sort of be a pinkish kind of color, like the pineapple. The second one is going to be a yellowish color, like the lemonade one. And we need to add one more item so you can click add item or duplicate an item. I always like to make logical names, so I'm just going to rename it over here, even though the name is not showing. And the last one is going to be a bluish color, as you can see over here. The next part, what I'm going to do is in the settings, I'm going to do two things. First of all, I'm going to turn off autoplay because I don't want it to autoplay. And the second one is enable sync and remote. And this is what's going to enable it to sync to the accordion over here. So let's click back to the accordion and in the content settings, content connect widget settings, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to enable remote, remote connection and enable sync. So right now we can't really see that inside of a, the editor. Actually we do, so that's how it is. You can see when I'm hovering over the blue one, the background is changing to blue. The problem is that it's auto playing right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to preview this inside of the Elementor editor in, in the front end. And over here, this will work properly. Okay. So not always in the editor will it work properly. The, mo the best way to show this is to see it in the preview. So that's really awesome, right? How this background is changing. Let's take this one step further. And by that, what I mean is I'm going to add some remote widgets. So let's drag and drop the arrow widgets over here. 
and this will allow us to navigate between the slides and again this you won't be able to see inside of the editor so I need to save and then now I can use this inside of the live website and it's working awesome so that's pretty cool that's another one and the one I'm going to add is a counter so let's do remote counter it's over here and as you can see by the way the defaults the default styles of these are really really good I mean you don't need to change too many settings to make it look good over here I'm just going to change two settings I'm going to justify it to the start so it, it lines to the left over here and I'm going to make the current number bigger just so that looks a lot better so let's make it bigger let's make it bolder and that's about it so we got that set up and you can see that the number is changing depending on which item is active over here the number is changing so that's the idea behind that to finish this up I'm going to do a couple of last things so First of all, let's add in our layout some more gaps. So these are not so close together. So I'm going to go for wider. And inside of the column over here, I'm going to vertical align it to the middle. And I'm going to add another widget that the image accordion is going to sync to as it syncs to the background slider. So content carousel. Let's put that over here. And since this tutorial is not about the content carousel, I'm not going to take too much time and I'm going to do it a little bit fast, but I hope you guys can follow. So first of all, I want to show only one item instead rather than showing three. So right now it's showing one inside of layout. I'm going to turn off the arrows, turn off the dots, turn off the image. So I'm left only with content. We can also turn off the button. So we have only a title and some text. Inside of the style, I'm going to go inside of content, take off the padding, and inside of the title, I'll just make the title a little bit bigger. So we have a little bit of contrast over here. Then I'm going to go back inside of content, and inside of a line, I'm going to align this to the left. Back into style, content, and instead of a background color, I'm going to clear the background color and make this transparent. Back into content, you go inside of items, delete the last item, so I have three items again. I'm going to rename the items to properly match the ones we have inside of the image accordion. Of course, the text you would want to do as well. and macaroon and again this is just one example of what you can achieve hmm, with the uh, widgets over here by connecting them i mean the possibilities are endless of course right so i'm going to click update to save don't forget to go into the widget settings and enable sync and remote remote connection so that way it can sync as the others were syncing before. And I think that's about it. I'm going to save that, go inside of my Elementor preview, and now everything is connected properly. Let's go over what we've done. We've added an image accordion that's connected to a background slider, that's connected to a content slider, that's connected to remote counter and remote arrows let's preview how this looks so i'm going to use the arrow to navigate i can use swipe to navigate as well and i can click or hover over the different parts to navigate as well so that's kind of amazing guys right it's, i'm not saying that just because i did it right i'm not the only one thinking that it's amazing so i want to thank you guys for joining and i'll see you in the next video